Hey Scale Nation, welcome back. Joe here from scalefreak.com coming to bring you a, I guess an unboxing and a quick function on this little bad boy here, the Sky RC Brushless Motor Analyzer, the BMA-01. What is this and do you need it? That's a great, great, great question. Uh, Antler wanted to pick this little bad boy up, which I completely understand because we run a lot of spec classes, so sometimes it's just to figure out the best we can do with the motor that we have um, and also make sure we're using the best products that we can. So when you go through basically what it is, is it's going to come with everything that you need in order to hook a brushless motor to this thing. Sorry, not everything you need. You need a battery. Um, but everything else that you need to connect a motor to this bad boy, and it's going to tell you some of the more important details, like it's uh, KV measurement, as you can see here, it's RPM, voltage, amp or, uh, <laughs> ampere measurement. Uh, you're going to go through here and be able to go through and, and make sure that your sensors are all working correctly, that everything is working tip-top, and you can make sure that of the motors that you have, you are using the correct ones. Again, great when you're running things like spec classes because you can make sure that of the pile of motors that you may have collected, you are using the best one that fits within the rules, and that will give you the most amount of power. So opening the box itself, just kind of like eh, do this in here. First of all, you do have your instructions. This is gonna teach you frame by frame how to connect it and exactly how to use the submenus or at least a couple of the submenus to figure out as you go through. And it's kind of giving you a bit of a description as to what the motor timing is and exactly what you're looking for in order to make your changes little wrap here. There is the analyzer itself. So it's not overly large. Fits small in your bag. That's kind of the size difference to go to a motor. So it's not a massive unit. And then we open it up further. Connectors that go onto your motors, right? You don't have to hard mount or hard solder connectors to your motor to make this work. You plug these into the unit itself. The gator clips click onto your motor leads. Power line, sensor cable. Easy enough, right? You know what? Let's check out its operation. Setup is ultra easy, right? You've got the unit. You're going to plug in on this side three lines with the gator clips. And of course, you've got your sensor line, and then you're off into a two cell battery. Uh, it comes with either, where did it go? Uh, a connector with the EC3 and an Ultimia connector, or the EC3 to a bullet, which is what we're going to use here. Um, and then again, these little guys here, so you don't have to hard solder anything to the unit itself. You just use these little gator clips. And a sensor wire is a sensor wire. But what can you gauge on this thing? Well, you go through, you can do your um, KV, RPM, motor timing. It will tell you what the timing on the motor currently is set at. You can also do the noise level. So you can actually check to see if maybe something's going wrong with the motor, maybe. Uh, and then you can set the pole of the motor so you can make adjustments so the unit itself knows what you're doing. Uh, so first we'll go into, I'm going to take the old um, Gen 3 17.5 motor. I have two 17.5s here, so that's probably my easiest comparison. So we're going to put this through here. Put it in correctly, I guess. That helps. So then I've got the orange is A. The blue is B. and the yellow is C. So now the motor is connected. We're just gonna set it there. You don't really have to fasten it down because it's not gonna run away on you. So we hit the button, it says no problem, press start and turn. So now we start to make adjustments. So you can see up here, the sensors, it tells you if the sensors are working or not. So you can just kind of manually turn it to make sure that all your sensors are phasing correctly. And then this dial here, we're gonna add our motor throttle levels. Now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, different throttle levels and then you can do your comparisons from there. I'm going to hold this to make sure nothing jumps off on me. So you can see here that on the first throttle level I'm using uh, 5, 6, 7 kV. I'm RPM of well, a little over 4600 and then as you go you can wind it up start to see what your motor is doing. Let's take it to 11. There you go. So you can see at max, this thing here, averaging 2400 kV, averaging about 19,500-ish RPM. 
and then bring it back down. So I can tell you that motor, it's a good one. I used this thing for a while. It's a great motor. But let's do a comparison directly against the Spec R. Now, I haven't not adjusted the timing on either of these things. I haven't made any adjustments to the motor itself. The only thing I did was last year for the Canadian Nationals is I had to um, open this one up to have it spec'd, so I cleaned it while I was at it. So this motor here is a clean motor right from the beginning because it's fresh out of the box. Let's plug that in. Again, we've got A, B, and C. And you can just turn this. Yeah, all the sensors are phasing. So let me start adding some power to it. Let's just crank it. So at full tilt, this spec R motor, averaging quite a lot faster, considering the fact that this was a Gen 3 RPM motor. So this one was made for high RPM. And look at the averages now. That is gonna make a significant difference. I got a big smile on my face, guys. That is gonna make a significant difference this year with racing. You also can go through, check your motor timing. So watch this, it'll actually run, it'll run it through its cycle. It's actually analyzing what the motor's timing is set at right now, so that you know kind of where your starting point is if you're going to make some adjustments. So it's gonna tell us here, the average is 27. And it's gonna show you each sensor where it's at if you wanted to make any adjustments. And there's also noise level. You can go through the list and see how much noise your motor's making. You can usually start to feel if something's maybe out of play, a bearing, something's wrong with the inside of the motor. And then you can start stripping it down to check to see. So that's that's how that kind of works. I, I've been wanting a long time to play with one of these things to see exactly what it would do. You know what I really want to do? Let's get a really old motor and hook it up. Here's a super old 8.5 Tekken Gen 1. Let's see what this thing does. I don't, I don't expect it's going to compare anything to this, but I just want to see. Get it in there. Let's see if the sensors even still work on this thing. For all you guys know, you might be witnessing me setting fire to my desk. It's been a long time since this motor has operated. There we go. Start with noise since we're here. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so we're not going to do that test because I think I just about half blew the motor up. So let's go to the next test here and see what happens. So we'll go... That might not be accurate. <laughs> so uh, I don't think these old motors like this very much. Um, I just wanted to do something for fun. Uh, there's no scientific reason other than, hey, who wants to watch me blow stuff up? So this motor here is probably not, <laughs> it's gonna go back in the vault and we'll see you later. So test done, motor broken down. Uh, really what it comes down to, it. do you need something like this? Eh, that's your prerogative, that's completely up to you. I think between you and 10 friends, you might only need one. Uh, I ordered this bad boy here from RC Mart, so they're really quick to get in. Uh, get it in, figure out what you need, test all your different motors, find out who has the best one, and then um, steal your friend's motors for all their parts. Might be a good plan. What I might do, because Jason won't see this video for a little bit, maybe I'll test all of our new spec R motors and I'll grab all the best of the group. Hmm. Maybe. Could you imagine I use his motor analyzer to find the best of the bunch and keep them for myself? I wouldn't do that. I'd actually rather give them to him because I'm a terrible driver anyway. But thanks for watching, guys. 
Uh, if you go through here, um, check it out. Uh, you can go to the SkyRC site or go over to um, rcmart.com and check it out. Uh, this was, what was the code again? BMA-01, brushless motor analyzer. Check it out. So guys, if there's anything in this video that you think is worth your time, uh, share it out to your friends, share it with your community, get this thing out there. Don't forget to click the click, uh, the like, and of course the subscribe. Um, and uh, comment below. We are always in the comment section looking to answer your questions. And if I can't get the answer right away, I'm going to find it for you. So thanks guys for watching and uh, have a great day.